Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora, and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. If it is your first time watching, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time. And that topic is normally centered around vanilla and gourmand fragrances. For today, we do have a subscriber requested review. Uh, subscriber, and I'll put it right up here. Thank you so, so much. I truly take to heart you guys' suggestions or inquiries. Uh, if it's something that is in the budget and I can get a hold of it for you guys, I'll definitely, you know, give it a shot. I love doing comparison reviews. And this one is Rave Now Women, which is being compared to Burberry Her Elixir. Now, I am a little late to this game. Uh, even though this was a 2023 release, I do see a lot of people have already been enjoying this. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys will be interested in hearing my thoughts and also... We do quite a bit of layering here on the channel. I do like to just accentuate my fragrances and enjoy them to the fullest and then pass that information on to you guys. So if this is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos. So for today, this one was actually so nice, so fun to play around with. Um, it's another one of those uh, just easy wears as far as there's nothing screechy, there's nothing sharp. You know, you're looking forward to the berry tones. You're looking forward to a little bit of gourmand feel. Uh, let's start off with talking about Burberry Her Elixir. Now, I do have um, a review on the channel about Burberry Her Elixir. And to me, well, this fragrance has in it strawberry. Wait, where did I spray it before the video? Oh, my God. I will tell you, they smell very, very similar. Okay, I sprayed the Burberry Her over here. <laughs> the Burberry Her Elixir. All right. In the top, we have Burberry. Burberry. Strawberry. <laughs> uh, blackberry. In the mid, we have Jasmine, Vanilla, Amber, and Sandalwood in the base of Burberry Her Elixir. Now, if you're familiar with the Burberry Her line, a lot of people say that it reminds them of Baccarat Rouge 540. Just that little, um, you know, sugared, um, not cooked, burnt sugar kind of embroxany tone that Burberry, um, I'm sorry, that Baccarat Rouge has. I do agree to a certain extent with that. Um, only that particular note, nothing else. Now this has that, that typical Burberry Her DNA. It really does. And for me, where are you? The Burberry Her Elixir does edge out. This is my favorite of the Burberry Her line. It edges out the Burberry Her Intense by just a smidge, <laughs> like literally a hair, uh, simply because there is a really big strawberry feel in this one, like a big strawberry uh, note versus the red fruits or red berries that is in here. In the Burberry Her Elixir, you still get a little bit of that cough syrupy feel. Now, it is not as warm as the Burberry Her original fragrance is. At notice, I do not own a full bottle. I don't care for Burberry Her Elixir. I mean, Burberry Her, uh, the very first one on its own. I do have to layer that fragrance. It was never a fragrance I felt I needed to add to my collection. Now, here comes the Intense, and I said, yes, we need that. Um, there is something about the original that to me is really hot and it weighs the fragrance down for me. It gets very syrupy, um, you know, and I, I just, I don't enjoy it. Like I said, I need to layer it. I need to freshen it up. And um, if you layer and freshen it up, it, it works so well um, for you. And if you can wear it on its own and enjoy it, awesome. For me personally, uh, this was my favorite before the Elixir came out. Um, I love the fact that you can smell the original in here without that syrupy feel. Same here, except this has uh, more of a cough, cough syrup vibe. Like you do get a bit of medicinal berries in this fragrance, um, you know, but it does have that wonderful uh, candied benzoin type, you know, little resinous uh, dry down in the Burberry Her uh, Intense. So, but for me, it has to be this one because it has the strawberry versus the mixed berries. It just, it's, this is the one that, that wins out for me. Um, so when the subscriber mentioned, you know, have you tried rave women, uh, now women, uh, you know, it's supposed to just be so good, gourmand and marshmallow and all that. And actually in the same vicinity, 
as the Burberry Her Elixir, I said, okay, we need to try. I mean, for the price point and the enjoyability that I already know I get from the fragrance, we need to try. Uh, the box is really interesting, a uh, very textured uh, feel of a box. And the presentation of the, the bottle is interesting too. It is actually a plastic bottle. I found that really cute, this plastic bottle. Um, and then there's glass, of course, on the inside. And the, the cap here is black. Now, in this fragrance, we have red fruits and orange. We have marshmallow, lily of the valley, and jasmine in the mid vanilla moss and musk now the moss comes in here as well and gives an air or a nod to the back of Rouge 540 i will say that i do get a big strawberry just like the elixir i do get a big strawberry feel uh so for that reason i was wowed by this i said okay this gives a little bit of of that uh burberry her line for certain but it also has its own thing going on. For example, the opening to me, oh, I haven't even sprayed it right now. The opening to me is much fluffier. That marshmallow really, really makes a difference in this composition. Um, I just get fluff, fluffy fruits, fluffy red fruits, and definitely that big strawberry feel. Oh, I just, I just, I get that. Um, I'm happy with the big strawberry touch that this has and also that whipped cream, uh, you know, feel that it does have that the Burberry Hurt Elixir does not. I don't get a whipped cream feel, uh, you know, from the original Burberry Hurt Elixir, but I do enjoy it so, so much. I can't say I don't. <laughs> uh, do they smell similar? Yes, I, they smell similar. Uh, they're very, very close. Uh, the only thing I would say about the Burberry Her now is it comes across much, much sweeter. There is a bit more of a balance with the Burberry Her Elixir. And yeah, there's just, just more of a balance and a little airy touch to it in the background somewhere that just kind of makes it feel a little more refined. Uh, this fragrance a little less on, you know, the the higher end feel, I guess you could say. Uh, but it is still really, really close. Like, if if you didn't really know, you couldn't tell. I mean, you know, the difference, really. Um, but for me, it is that fluffy feel. That is why I enjoyed this so, so much, that fluffy feel. <laughs> so um, it's a total win in my book. I mean, complete win. This is, you know, smells like the Burberry line. It could actually be a, a fluffier flanker of the whole line, I would say. Although we are missing that little bit of, you know, the Burberry line DNA, uh, which is just that, that little touch of something. Yeah, I always say like cosmetic counter type vibe, um, you know, or designer quality to a fragrance that is like just screams uh, couture or, you know, classy. Um, and very nostalgic to me. Uh, Victoria's Secret also has that same little tinge to it on, across all of its fragrances. To me, they don't smell cheap. They just smell very, you know, 1990s mall nostalgic. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is it for the fragrance uh, comparison review. I hope that uh, I made myself clear. It is really, really similar, uh, but slightly different and not in a bad way. And you know, it's not it's not, we're not forgoing anything that the Burberry Her Elixir has other than the price tag <laughs> and the name, of course. Oh, but these, uh, you know, Middle Eastern fragrances just come in. They come in strong. They come in hard. Uh, you know, they come in really close to, to their original counterparts or the fragrances that they are inspired by. And I truly do enjoy them. Um, so how have I been rocking this? What have I been enjoying this with? Oh, many things actually, but I would have to say that the most memorable combo that I've had so far, there was actually two standouts, but my very first, and you, as evidenced by, <laughs> look at this, I am just hitting this hard. I love it. This is Strawberry Snowflakes by Bath and Body Works. I do have the, uh, you know, big size on the way, the full size, because I just keep reaching for this. Um, now, Strawberry Snowflakes has in it juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and iced bergamot, and I cannot 
get enough of this combo. You can really fill that whipped cream, very similar to what I'm getting in the rave now, that whipped cream smell. Um, I mean, this just goes together like it was like it's a, they're dupes of each other almost. Just so nice. I will say that I do have to reapply the strawberry snowflakes. It does. I do go nose blind do it. I, it does dissipate really quickly for me. Um, maybe not more than what, four hours or so. And I can't smell it anymore. And I respray it. <laughs> Uh, so for that reason, I want to buy like 12 of these travel sizes because it's so, so good. Um, so that combo right there, easy enough. Strawberry snowflakes with the Burberry Heart Elixir or the Rave Now uh, Women. Oh man, so, so good. Now to amp up that whipped, whipped marshmallow feel and give it a heavy dose of vanilla. Ooh, I mean, they both have vanilla in them, but I'm talking about Delicia de Marshmallow. This just amplifies this fragrance for me um so that's why this one's coming in at number two i guess i have three that i really were very memorable <laughs> this is coming in at number two with game of spades royale which is the bond nine tribeca dupe oh just recently discovered i did try a sample and had to have the the full bottle i'll link this uh review in the description for you guys to check out um, so Game of Spades Royale, the Lisa to Marshmallow topped it off with either the Elixir or the Rave Now, and you are just fluffy, marshmallow, vanilla, strawberry, sophistication. <laughs> I mean, just so good. I truly enjoyed this combo. Um, now, speaking of sophistication, I think that you could throw a very feminine uh, touch to this with anything that I'm going to mention today, you could top it off just with a little hint of yada. This one right here is another one. I think I did quite a bit of layering in this video, you guys, and I just, I stand by it. Okay. Um, I, sometimes I do crave wanting to smell really frilly, girly, feminine, soft, beautiful. This is yada. <laughs> so, um, I would not mind just throwing couple of spritz of this on top just to get that feel um so yeah i've always had trouble closing this okay awesome now um let's talk about these strawberries you guys what did i do i went in with my strawberry noel let me see, trying to find it. strawberry noel from coco pink if you have not experienced coco pink yet what are you waiting for <laughs> the turnaround time is quite extensive uh, we're talking 45 days plus at times. I actually have an order pending with them uh, from their Black Friday sale. They did a pre-Black Friday sale. Beautiful strawberry. Now, this is some real strawberry. And uh, what I love about wearing this underneath fragrances that don't have, um, they have a synthetic strawberry feel to them. It's not fresh. And this, to me, is extremely fresh strawberry almost a little bit like strawberry jam i guess you could say or strawberry preserves but they continuously waft up at you throughout the day and i could not be more happy with that i only have the body spritz here well actually this is for your linens this is for your hair uh you could put it anywhere really linen room hair and body spray I do find that this body spray, and it only comes in at about $7 versus their 40 something dollar um, eau de parfums. I do find that this stays around all day long. So if you really wanna test out one of their scents, um, you know, instead of ordering, this is just what I do. <laughs> you know, not just, if you wanna take my advice, go for it, but, or not. <laughs> but they do have samples. Let me just get one. I have my Tohota here. Um, they do have samples here. They're a pretty penny and their turnaround time, like I said, is quite a bit. So if you happen to fall in love with the scent and you want to order the full size, you're going to be left with, you know, trying to make a 5ml work until you get your goods. This will last you longer. This is a, what is it? A 2.5 fluid ounce for the small one. Um, and then they have a bigger size a bottle. And you get to test out the fragrance a little more, a little longer. Uh, you know, and really actually enjoy it while you're waiting on your order. Um, that's just what I've learned to do recently. You know, if I want to get a full size order perfume from them, I go ahead and test out their body mist is what I'm saying. 
Now, Strawberry Noel, oh, it's just yum. Anything with the name Noel on the back of it has their beautiful uh, cocoa pink blend of Noel. It is not smells exactly like the Bath and Body Works Vanilla Bean Noel, um, but it's it's in the vicinity, I guess you could say. But to me, it is superior. <laughs> and I don't say that quite often. Oh. When it comes to my Bath and Body Works fragrances, I absolutely adore them. I feel like they're, you know, you can't get those fragrances anywhere. I mean, you really can't get them anywhere else. Okay, so another one from Coco Pink, uh, while I'm on the subject, is Pink Indulgence. Um, yeah, this one also has that pink, a little bit of a tonic feel in it. You could totally wear it with this uh, Burberry Her Elixir or the Rave Now. Just play around with it. Um, and speaking of Bath and Body Works and strawberry, we could definitely add our strawberry pound cake. I am finally a believer. I do have, uh, I wasn't able to get the full size, but I ordered a few of these smaller ones. Um, finally a believer of the strawberry pound cake. Yes, this has a fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. They upped the strawberry in it this year. The formulation is beautiful. And um, and the whipped cream is so nice. I don't and the cake, I the shortcake. I don't get um, a thick like just you know not headache inducing but cloying type feel. I don't get that anymore. I just this is so nice this year. I I truly I'm enjoying that one. Okay, um, so I would do the strawberry pound cake. You know, with any of these instead of any other strawberry I mentioned that you might not have. Um, and now, last but not least, I have been, one day I said, let me just blow this strawberry out of the water, and I added Fraise Bonbon or Strawberry Sweet by Tutti Delices. These are going to be amazing Christmas presents. I've been saying it ever since I discovered these little cupcakes. Delicious. This is said to smell like House of Bloy's Mini Mouse. And I do have a full review on this. I'll link in the description as well for you guys to check out. And I really do believe it does. I tested them side by side. Uh, you know, beautiful, cute little cupcakes. I have a couple of these under the tree for my daughter because she, uh, more often than not, she's eight years old and she will pick these, okay, to wear <laughs> to school or for the day. Um, the other one, I'm sorry, I was talking about strawberry sweet smelling like House of Floyd. <laughs> Correction. Barbia Papa, which is the cotton candy, is the one that smells like the Minnie Mouse. Oh, man, that is going down. She reaches for this one more than the strawberry. Uh, the strawberry sweet just smells like strawberry goodness. Uh, but the cotton candy, the Barbia Papa, is the one that smells like the House of Glory uh, Minnie Mouse. Oh, I got them confused because <laughs> I didn't spray them. Uh, but yeah, no, you want a realistic, wonderful candy, sweet strawberry, go for this. Um, you know, I love it. I love all of these little cupcakes. Okay, uh, that was it for today, you guys. Very, very nice. We went through that. Just wonderful options here. Um, I have been doing quite a bit of testing, um, you know, dupes against their counterparts at side, side by side, just like we did here. Um, and also, I got my genre perfumes order in, and I am head over heels. I just, I cannot wait to tell you guys. I have been letting them sit, but at the same time, I've been wearing them and experimenting with them. I have here Miracle Essence, which is the Pecato Original. Uh, what is it? I have it right here. Uh, Essenza Miraculosa. So this is just the translation, Miracle Essence. That's what they named it. And it is, can't wait to tell you guys all about it. <laughs> Next, we have Safe Haven. We're going to go over this. This is Narcoticas Dulce. I mean, Narcoticas, Narco Oasis, which I fell in love with. And if I were to do a top, a top video, I want to say this is going to hit this even safe haven because it is Narco Oasis. Um, this is going to hit really high, <laughs> really, really high. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so, so much uh, for tuning in. Uh, I hope everybody's having a good time getting their holiday season together. Um, you know, their gifts to themselves and to their loved ones. And if not that, then I hope that you, um, you know, are planning to spend it uh, a nice time with family. Uh, that's it for today. I will let you guys go and uh, see what we talk about in our next video. You have a blessed rest of your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe. Bye-bye.